It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Arizona Cardinals coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today, two NFC clubs going hand-to-hand -hand as it will be the New York Giants taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams trying to keep his team in contention. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Throwing Jones. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. A great job there, and that old cliche, taking what the defense gives you, comes right into play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what it is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in? That goes for a gain of 31. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now Jones. Throw right side going to be caught by Waller. And down inside the 15 he goes. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact. But that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. 
Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Back to throw. Jones. His pass caught at the four. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. On fourth down, Jones. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And Daniel Jones has always been an integral part of his team's run game. Five touchdowns on the ground in the first three years. Had seven last season. So even if it's not a called quarterback run, he understands where the goal line is and often will carry it himself. Extra point try, good by Godot. And it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by their six foot four QB from the University of Tennessee. It's Joshua Dobbs. Brandon, I know he isn't at the status of some of the elite names in this league but I do know he's an absolute fighter because he's heard all the criticism. He's read the articles that say he isn't good enough to be the starter, and he absolutely does not care. All he wants to do is prove every doubter wrong and show that he belongs in this spot. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. Call it a gain of six on the play, and third and one now. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he is caught. Gets around him. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, won or lost a game. And this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? That their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because? There he goes, left side. And they'll wind up giving this one all the way down inside the 20. 36 yards on the play. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that.
So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Dobbs. That's complete to McBride. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Flush to his right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. now will send it away following the main field goal. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Looking to throw. Jones got his man complete over the middle. It's Campbell. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 43-yard line. Second and a couple. Operating from the gun. Jones. And his throw here. midfield and down to the 46. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Jones in trouble here and down he goes. Kai 
Nazir White, the former safety, gets the sack. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. On second down, here's Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. And our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got a detail perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him? Come up with a scheme. Come up with something. Make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. On first down, Dobbs to throw. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard, I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is gonna slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. On second down, Connor looking for space. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Out of the gun, Dobbs. I oh, had a man but he missed him and it's incomplete had to pass there third and long on your own side of the field just couldn't come up with anything that's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down even throwing the football on fourth down the punt team is on as this is sent away 37 yards on the punt with no return and it'll be giant football first and 10. new york's offense back out there and set to go no points last time out they were forced to punt if you remember but no time to dwell on that they've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here first and 10 as this new drive starts now this pass into the hands of saquon barkley so the completion good for six yards and it'll be second down. Back to throw, Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for Giants first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. A first down carry for Barkley. Down to about the 37. From the 37, they work on second and six. Operating from the gun, Jones. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
Looking to throw. Jones. And that's complete to Shepard. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. He got 29 yards that time. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn up field and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. Barkley he is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Got to give a lot of credit to the defensive front there. They held their ground, pretty much stoned them on that play, and ended up creating a lost yardage play. Yeah, drop them from the one back to the two. Another try for Barkley, and he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley taking it in from two yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it as we resume action. Gano out to kick this one away. On the return, Rondale Moore will bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They trail now 14 to three, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Dobbs throw taken in by Pascal. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Connor up the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Good pickup by Connor, such an easy player to root for. And in 2022, he really meant a great deal to the Cardinals offense with almost 800 yards rushing. His veteran presence, invaluable as they went through a bunch of changes on offense. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Dobbs now on second down. Now this will be caught by Brown. Into space at the 45. And finally brought down right at the midfield strike. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles, and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now Dobbs. 
And a quick throw there is incomplete. A Rondell Moore, the intended target, and it's third and five. Dobbs. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Dobbs. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Second down and four. Dobbs is throwing. has it complete and they're going to have another first down as the tackles made at the Giants 12 yard line he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue uh, it's a well designed play here three wide receivers in the formation they're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties and then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field that's a difficult route to try to defend On first and ten is counter. And a pickup of about four down inside the ten to the eight-yard line. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Facing a second and six from the eight. To throw is Dobbs. Over the middle. Good for a gain of six, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Back to throw Dobbs. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Cardinals are back within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. 
And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. What was that rough? This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. A handoff, Barkley running left. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forcing the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They run behind center with Connor, and he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defense in front, they just break up the play before it can get going. On second down, Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Dobbs to throw. Incomplete. 
No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. On first and 10, Dobbs. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Now a second and 10. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Under pressure, they got him again. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15 yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt and they will take over first and 10. Throwing Jones. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. Now Dobbs. To Connor on the check down. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Here's Dobbs to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Back to throw. Dobbs. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. He made his first attempt, this from 45. Prater's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, 
in 2021. That's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Giants now are going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Now Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Jones on first and 10. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw again. Sure throw going to be caught by Waller. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? He's got his running back out of the backfield, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield, trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darren Waller in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook, but even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Gano the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. 
All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. To throw on second and 10, Dobbs. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. Dobbs. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it. And, and Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Blanket those receivers on third down, and as a quarterback, all you can do is just lock one toward the 
bench, not too close, mind you, and live to pump the football. Here's Jamie Gillen now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returning it is Moore. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a... And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. An excellent gain, 35 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Dobbs. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Second and 10 now from the 27. Out of the gun, Dobbs. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Zach Paschal, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They'll look to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Taken down at the 21. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. And on first and goal, they decided to throw for it, but the coverage was excellent. And he kept holding the ball, hoping someone would shake free. Instead, he's hit and drop. And now, they're not even in the red zone anymore. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, but now it's third and goal. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Over the middle, complete. It's Moore. A big play, but still not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. <laughs> and that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a ways to go, though. Raiders kick is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes in and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. In possession, switching back to the New York Giants. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Looking to throw, Jones. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of seven, and the Giants first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Barkley, inside handoff. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll find his tight end, that's Waller. No gain on the play, and it's second down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it, no yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, he'll find Hodgins there complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Now Jones, and some room to work, and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Up the middle with Barkley. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now second and five. Back to throw. Jones. And he bats it away, and it falls down. Complete. Cook hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete. 
pass. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points, but a nice touchdown-saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Extra point try good by Gano, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And more, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Connor going to get it again on second down. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. A good play on the ball, getting a hand on it, but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete. And at least way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense. And this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play. Tip it up in the air, grab it yourself, take it the other way. But sometimes that can backfire. How do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight reel play that could backfire? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On play action, it's Dobbs. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely getting the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Dobbs throw here into the hands of Moore. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So 
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. to get to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports throw left side hauled in by mcbride touchdown cardinals trey mcbride a 20 yard touchdown and the Cardinals have made it a one score game again here in the fourth so they get their tight end away from the line to the outside and he works his way in for six tight ends are not just blockers anymore I don't know how many more times we need examples but here's a great one gets to the outside they give him the ball pretty quickly and they trust him to get those extra yards and boy did he come through bullying his way into the end zone after the nice catch Extra point good by Prater. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So breaking it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. And New York set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 17 yards and a giant first down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300, that means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. A first down run from Barkley, pretty well defended. Give him three yards on the play. From the 46, here's second down and seven. Again, it's Barkley. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Giants first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. 
That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. They'll get this out quickly to Campbell. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Second down and six now. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Got exactly what they wanted there out of the RPO and had the defense out of position. One word for you there. Excellent. Because he read all the keys properly, made the right decision, and look at the result. Pretty substantial game. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, but instead a handoff up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Running again with Barkley on second down. Avoids him at the five. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Giants will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses. Hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you. That can win the game for us. Gano the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no run back here for more. It's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here. And they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment, running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk. Plus, you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. Dobbs throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 
A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right, and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. He'll get this to Connor underneath. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Now a second and six. Back to throw Dobbs. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. Brings up third and five. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, coaches stressed their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. And you'd have to figure, he got the ball quite a bit last drive. You see the numbers that now they're looking to choose some clock. He's going to get it even more here. I would think so because they have momentum going in their direction. They move the ball that way on their last drive. And you know they're trying to lock this game down. But also, don't be surprised if they mix in a few passes along the way as well. So they can't just totally key on him on this drive. Interesting. We'll see if that happens. Either way, looking to hold this lead. Let's see if they can do it. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now Jones. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Jones now to throw on third down. He'll look downfield for Waller. And that's caught inside the 35. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. 57 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Going jet sweep, here's Campbell. And yeah, that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. We can't have that. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. 
second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. Looking to throw, Jones. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Gano's kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down by 15. A minute 52 to play. They need two touchdowns and at least one two-point conversion mixed in there as well. Gets this to Moore. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now Dobbs. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one is incomplete. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, They've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and 10 now. Dobbs. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Dobbs is throwing. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Giants force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. And now out come the Giants. 
And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, so it was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. 